Hi everybody, this is Creativity Studio and I'm Leslie. Today I'm gonna work on some uh, sculpture using Super Sculpey. This is a type of clay that you need to bake to cure. I just started working with it myself. I am loving it. I've worked with all types of different uh, mediums, but today I'm going to work with Super Sculpey. And I've been working on one of my favorite characters of all time, Smurfette. We love Smurfette. Um, I used to dress up as her as a little girl for Halloween. I've already started my Smurfette sculpture because I've been practicing working on the shape and just working with the clay in general, but um, I will show photos of the process so far. This is my little Smurfette. To work with the clay, you can just work with the clay as is, but it's great to have aluminum foil, tin foil, um, some wire for to make the armature, which is like like a little skeletal figure of whatever you're doing, and it gives a more sturdiness to help the clay adhere to. Um, this I ended up buying at first too thin. So you want like, I believe probably 12 gauge wire. Um, this is what I had on hand, so I just decided to use. You get your little printout and you're gonna try to make the size of your character. I was trying to make them like life size and supposedly Smurfs are around three inches tall. So I made my little character um, approximately three inches tall. Well, they'll use this as an example. So what you're gonna do is take your little wire guy and then you're gonna wrap him with tin foil and that's just kind of like a filler so you don't have to use solid clay you can it will take longer to cook um but it also helps you give it bendy so when you're like moving an arm around you can make it the arm straight out and then after you add the, the tin foil and the first layer of clay it's still bendable so you can kind of manipulate your character so I have my little Smurfy here. She's already been cooked or baked because it's, this is, clay is awesome because you can, super sculpty, I'm gonna call it clay. It's awesome because you can bake as you can go. So I kind of like got the face and everything where I wanted and I wanted to work on the back without smooshing the front. So I baked it and then I worked on the back and then I baked it. So. That's what I'm gonna work on. So you'll see the process more so. Um, I also made her a little flower that I'm going to, I already started painting it. So, cause I was just testing to see how colors would look on the gray base. And I'm gonna turn this into a flower that she stands next to. That's a hope. I'm gonna try to bake it again, even though I already painted it. We'll see how it goes. Let's get creative. Let's do this. <laughs> get to work. Make it? No, 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 no. Uh, no, that's not okay. Um, do it. No, I already did that. Let's make it. I feel like that's a thing. Make something. Let's get crafted. No, 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 no. We'll figure out our phrase. I'm just giving it a little sand with some sandpaper and my carving tool. You can use sanding paper, carving tool, Dremel, emery board, whatever you have on hand, or you don't even need to sand it if you don't like. I'm rolling out some clay to add to the base, making a thin layer, and then I'm gonna smooth it on the tin foil. I added holes to the base so I can attach Smurfette and the flower to give it structure. Here I'm working on the armature for the daisy. Starts with some wire, then tin foil, then I added clay. I attached the flower stem to the already baked daisy head, just adding some clay to the back and smoothing it on to the flower. Broken hearts, mended rights. I'm just adding a little detail to the flower leaf. I attach Smurfette and the flower to the base using the little extra wires 
and giving it structure and then I smoothed clay on top and then after that was done I baked in the oven at 275 for approximately one hour it's 15 minutes per quarter inch of clay once baked and cooled we are now ready to paint I'm giving it a base coat of white I'm using yellow for Smurf pets blonde hair in the center of the daisy and then my blue is a mixture of royal blue and teal blue and then I'm using green now I'm painting on some tacky glue and gluing some multicolored grass to the base Adding a little Sculpey gloss to finish her up. Thanks for watching, everyone. Here's Smurfette. Have a Smurfy day. Baby.